So one of the worst ones I saw ever was at the University of Wisconsin. Um, a student was really upset by a Harry Potter mural because it showed one of the characters transforming from a geeky little boy into like a good looking man. And so the student at University of uh, Wisconsin La Crosse filed an official hate bias report saying that this mural is not okay because it represents white power, manpower, cis power, able power, class power. I'm angry to know that the people who put this mural up and I'm anger because I know the people who let this mural be put up. Like I said earlier, maybe I'm being a little sensitive, but it is how I feel. This represents to me our society and I do not want it up on this wall. Why do we need a before and after? Well, honestly, it's because the artist wanted a before and after and you're not, you don't have you know, you don't have this right to only be surrounded by art that you love. You're going to be surrounded by art that you don't love sometimes. And the real problem with this is that the student went right from saying, this piece makes me feel like this, which is fine, I guess. It's kind of fine. I wrote it right in the piece, it's only kind of fine, because whatever your feelings are really are kind of fine. But, you know, if you're getting this upset about a Harry Potter painting, when you seem that mad about a Harry Potter painting, Maybe you do have some underlying issues that you need to deal with because you're getting too angry over something that's kind of not a big deal. Um, anyway, but at the same time, what the real problem is that this kid goes right from, I feel, I, this is how I feel, into I want it taken down, which gives the impression that this kid thinks that whatever his or her feelings are, are a reason for anyone to have to do anything. It's not. It's fine to have feelings. Anybody, ask anybody who knows me, I have plenty of feelings. But the problem is, um, you know, when you think that your feelings are some sort of, you know, all-powerful ruler that everyone has to bow to just because you have them. That's really not, am I going back on Top Hat anytime soon? I don't know. Ask Ben Kissel. I would love to go on Top Hat again sometime soon. Um, yeah, no, therapy, therapy's good. These Exactly. You know, if you're this angry, you can feel however you want. You can hate this painting so much. You can actually think these things. But to say that I don't like it, take it down, that's not how the world works. Your feelings are your own responsibility. And there's just not enough of that. There's a, you know, the school sees that one kid feels this way about the painting and they actually think that they might have to take it down. Now, the, the painting is still there, which is good. The painting is still there. That's a good thing. But the fact that this student even felt like this would be something the school would want to hear about, that's pretty scary because that means that, you know, they've been shown an environment where they would think that the school might actually be wanting to hear something about that. No, millennials are not a bunch of spoiled, sensitive brats. Just some of them are. And um, we should be making fun of um, a, a lot of these people. I think it's important to keep making fun of these people because it's like, it's not like, you know, it's a painting you, you don't like. It's not ISIS. You know, you relax. Um, and yeah, the, everyone gets a trophy. Yeah, th that does kind of, you know, it, I'm, I'm not surprised to see it going hand in hand with school saying, you, I've heard all, all over the place, things like grades below a C, you don't get a grade below a C because it might be upsetting. First semester is pass fail because it might be upsetting. No more valedictorians because it might be upsetting. So there is this focus on, okay, we're not going to do this so you're not upset. So it kind of does give students the idea that I'm not upset um, or I'm upset means something, which really it shouldn't because Regardless, it doesn't really matter. Even if the student, even if the school took it down, it doesn't really mean that their feelings, you know, mean anything. Um, let's say, you know, these schools that are saying, you know, making schools pass fail, even if you pass but got the lowest grade, you still got the lowest grade. You didn't earn the same thing as a student that got 100%. Calling things differently doesn't, you know, change the, the truth of them. So, um, I like your shoes. You can't see my shoes. Yeah, loser shouldn't get a trophy. Okay.